Hi, Paul here from PR Wilson Media. Now, lists on Twitter are a fantastic way not only to organize the people you're following into groups, you know, local businesses, media, whatever your interests, you can monitor the activity in that group, but they're a fantastic way to find new contacts that are relevant to you. You find other people's public lists and you follow those relevant accounts. Okay, Twitter have updated the interface, so as this post here says, you know, it's now hidden away in the menu options. So I wanted to re-record the videos I've done previously about building an audience with lists so that you see how it works in the new interface. Here we go. So to demonstrate, I'm logged in as Dice Art Park Grantham, a community event that holds annual fundraisers in the park, family events, etc. And their interest would be to use lists to find other local community members, local media perhaps, or local businesses. So let me show you how to access lists with the new interface. So here we are on a home page, so we just click on the text Dice Art Park Grantham there, and that will take through to this view. Tweets, following, followers, favourites. This was previously vertical, if you may recall that. Okay, but where's lists? Well, it's actually here under more. Not sure why there's only one menu item anyway. But this should look familiar to anyone who's used it before. Subscribe to and member of. Now subscribe to is where you've created a list yourself using this create new list button. All of these ones with the picture are lists that are created by this account. Now when you see a different icon that means it's subscribed to, this account is subscribed to lists created by other users. That means when you go to the particular page, so we go to the, this journalism account, you would do the same thing. You click on more, you click on lists, find one of the lists that you're interested in. In this case, click on this one and then just click subscribe. If I now go back to the home page and I go back to the text and now I click on lists. What you'll see is that list I've just subscribed to appear just below the ones that are created by this account. So there it is. Any list you go to, you click on it, you can see the members and how many people are also subscribed to it and all the current tweets. So it's a great way to filter your view of what's happening. You know, This is just journalism if that's your interest area. Okay, so let's run through how we find new potential lists to, to uh, follow people within those lists. So it's not just about what lists have been created by an account, it's what list they're a member of. More frequently, more commonly, they won't have created their own list, but they will have been added. If they've been on Twitter for some time and quite active to a number of lists, so this account itself has been added to quite a number of, it, of lists. Lincolnshire East Midlands community. So a good idea would be to follow other members of that list that you're not already following. So you just go to members and you follow any accounts that you're not yet connected with. Now they won't all follow you back but the chances are when you follow 100 accounts typically 30% follow back. Now they're all going to be relevant accounts because it's a list that you've found that's relevant to you. So another list that would be relevant to this particular account would be a list of media contacts. So I'm just going to do a search for a local paper, the Grantham Journal, and look at the people results to find that. Okay, so I can click on that. So I could follow the account. What I want to do again is click on the text Grantham Journal, click on more and lists and usually they have got one list of journal members it's really going to be the powerful effect to see the member of look at all these lists so local press Grantham community Lincolnshire news so you could go further afield with media organizations Lincolnshire organizations with a reach within Lincolnshire and beyond any of those would be great to zoom in on follow the members of the list and know that the audience you're building is a quality audience relevant to you. I've been Paul 
from PR Wilson Media, your social media personal trainer. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button below and you'll get more regularly updated content. It's important that videos that are produced before, when there's a new interface like this with these wonderful Facebook covers, etc., I want to make sure that I'm updating so that you get the latest information when you're learning about this stuff. So thanks very much for listening and I'll see you again soon.